The International Monetary Fund says Korea, Australia, and Canada are better placed than any other developed economies to deal with the expected global market volatility when the U.S. starts scaling back its massive monetary stimulus program. In a report released Tuesday, the agency said it measured a country's ability to withstand a major influx of capital outflows which is expected to happen when the Federal Reserve starts tapering its $85 billion monthly asset purchases. The IMF said Korea, Australia and Canada had strong fundamentals citing their high currency reserves and low reliance on foreign funding.